gathered together to celebrate the marriage of Noel Perry and Christopher Ross. Marriage is a promise between two people who love each other, who trust each other, who honor one another as individuals in that togetherness, and who wish to spend the rest of their lives with each other. It enables two separate souls to share their desires, longings, dreams, joys, sorrows, and help each other through all uncertainties of life. Marriage has certain qualities of contract in which two people take on the housekeeping tasks of living together to enhance life's joy. However, marriage is more than a contract. Marriage is commitment to take that joy deeper, deeper than happiness, deep into the discovery of who you most truly are. It is a commitment to a wonderful journey, to a life of becoming a rich joy, and comprehend despair running through rivers of pain into joy again. And this marriage is even deeper than commitment. It is covenant, a covenant that says, I love you, I trust you, I will be here for you when you are hurting, and when I am hurting, I will not leave. It is a covenant intended not to provide haven from pain or from anger or sorrow, Life offers no such haven. Instead, marriage is intended to provide a sanctuary safe enough to risk loving, to risk living and sharing in the center of oneself. This is worthy of everything. <coughs> Christopher, will you take Noel to be your lawfully wedded wife? Will you love, comfort, honor, and protect her, forsaking all others, to be faithful to her until death do you part? I do. Noel. Will you take Christopher to be your lawfully wedded husband? Will you love, comfort, honor, and protect him, forsaking all others, to be faithful to him until death do you part? I do. Let's see. Is the bridegroom now? Have the vows you have prepared? Wizard pockets. This morning, I watched the sun rise over all I could see. Shafts of golden light stabbed between blazing orange clouds rent with the breaking dawn. The air was chill, but I didn't look away. I drank in every last moment of beauty as if it were my last. I know that there will be many more sunrises in life, each as perfect, each as unique as the one this morning. I might see every one of them and count my life satisfied, content, but it would not be perfect. Every morning, I open my eyes to a different beauty, just as unique, just as perfect as that sunrise. Though this beauty may change over time, it will not diminish as the dawn inevitably will. It will not fade to crystalline stillness. No, it will live and love and be loved as it travels with us on our journey. That is my promise to you, Noel. That each day be set afire with new passions, new laughter, new dreams. Though I cannot guarantee the vibrant tempest of beauty that tomorrow's dawn might bring, I can promise that I will love you, Noel. My whole life I've dreamed of this day when I'd be surrounded by all the people that I love and with the man that I love. I wanted to share the story of when you first proposed to me five years ago at Uncle Ricky's. <laughs> It was the first time that I ever met your Uncle Ricky. We had a really nice day together. We had takeout food. We traded stories. And then it was time to go to bed. And this was one of the first times we were ever in a room with a closed door. But more than that, he took out some weapons. <laughs> he was like, so, pick your choice. And there were guns, there were swords, there were knives. We selected a sword and a knife. And we headed safely off to bed. And I remember just hugging you ferociously, just like 
we shut the door and we'd never really had that before and we were just hugging and it was so special and you asked me if I would marry you and it totally caught me off guard and I had to think about it for about three seconds and <laughs> it felt really long but I knew that the answer was yes then and I've not doubted that for a day since then like every single day I'm so happy and grateful to be with you. I know traditional vows usually make promises and commitments, and I feel like we've been living it for a few years now. So I wanted to share some of the reasons why I love you. I love your incredible memory. It blows me away. It humbles me every day. When we were on that long car ride to Florida and I was bored, what did we do? You taught me all of US politics. <laughs> The rise and fall of Greece and Rome, complete with dates and people names, and I just can't even compare with that. I love that you're a writer, which I think everyone just got a sampling of today. <laughs> I remember the first time you ever shared your writing with me, it was magical. You took out all of your books, and you took out your drawings of your maps, and they were so extensive. And they had color, they had languages, and you had a six, seven book plot outlined. And it, I don't know, takes my breath away every time I see you sit down at a computer and type out novels and then print them out on stacks of computer paper. I love that. I love how you can quote movies with the perfect inflection. <laughs> I think anyone who knows you will agree that if there's a movie on in the background, it doesn't matter what it is, you can probably say every single line with the exact right inflection. And I love how you run like the wind. <laughs> I love how you jump on things. And I know that's silly, but if anyone's taken a walk with Chris, a big part of a walk with Chris is jumping from thing to thing. <laughs> table the long way still, which is definitely is impressive. But in all seriousness, with, the, with you, I'm never lost, because you're never lost. If we're taking a hike, I know that you'll find our way back. I also know that in life, I'm a planner, I get really nervous about things, but you don't. You always ground me immediately, and you show me that everything's going to be all right, and you always make it all right. Every morning I wake up and you make my day worth it and better. Every day when I come home, you're the thing that I want to see. I'm not a day for that, that I'm not so grateful to be with you. And I never want to be apart from you. Being apart from you last night was so hard. <laughs> so every day, and especially right now, I'm reminded of how lucky I am to have you in my life. We've been through so much together from opposite work schedules to bed bugs. <laughs> to being first year teachers to my current state of pregnant disarray. <laughs> There's never been a moment where I wish I was apart from you. I love you with all of my heart and can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. Until now, Noel and Chris have spent each moment of their lives as separate individuals, but from this day on and every day after this day shall be shared and spent as one by the power enthroned in me by the state of Massachusetts. I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Ross. Yay!